you know, part of Dr. Pillai's spiritual name is Dattacheya. And Lord Dattacheya um, took an incarnation many uh, hundreds and hundreds of years ago where he did unbelievable miracles and magic. <coughs> Excuse me. And this next part of the trip here on the East Coast to Rajamundri and Penagunda begins that journey to tap into the power of the Trimurti God, the Brahma, the Vishnu, the Shiva. So let me just go here. So our first one begins with the goddess. Um, and look at this Homa, look at the, what they did here. The smoke in that fire ritual, the goddess appeared. So this is a temple um, in a place called Penagunda. And it's uh, Lord Dattacharya's feminine form. She's a combination of Saraswati, Lakshmi and Parvati. Her name is Vasavi. She's often considered the sister of Dattacharya, but she's really part of himself. <coughs> and we're going to journey to her location, her birthplace. And the power of this goddess is unbelievable. She's so compassionate. You immediately connect with her. And she is a goddess that can obviously give you creativity, uh, success in sustaining your business and living this world, and also success in ending anything that needs to be ending. But in particular, in her incarnation here, she was born into the merchant class. So she's very, very savvy for business. So when you step into this vortex for Vasavi, you are connecting with a Trimurti goddess, which is Lord Dattacharya himself. And she can bless you with so much uh, knowledge and prosperity and ways to do business, ways to enjoy this world, new creativity, ways to get out of sticky situations. So um, this is gonna be a really special uh, journey here. We're gonna fly from Hyderabad um, to this area. It's gonna be a day trip. So this is where the pilgrimage is gonna be really fairly intense. And one day we're going to, um, fly here from Hyderabad over to Rajamundri Airport. We're gonna drive down here to Penukunda. And um, again, there's nothing in this area really suitable for uh, a lot of us. So we are fortunate enough to find a nice place for lunch, <laughs> but we're gonna make it a very intense day trip to hit these two very, very most critical power spots for um, Dr. Treya. One is the goddess, Vasavi, and the second one, is a place called Pita Form, which is the birthplace of Lord Dr. Treya's incarnation. He, he took a birth, um, I believe in the 13th century. His name was Sri Pada Sri Vallabha. And he, from birth to the day he left the earth plane was totally all encompassing powerful. If you can read any of his stories, they are mind blowing. He was just, um, a god that could do anything incarnate. He did magic and miracles everywhere he went. Can you imagine hanging out with him and being his student during that time? So when, when, when him and his students would travel to these different temples, it was direct communication with the gods. I mean, here we are in the Kali Yuga, 7 billion people on the planet. When you make a pilgrimage to these temples, we're more inclined to see, okay, well, they're doing mantras, holy place, it's a statue. It's not a statue. And in the stories of Lord Dattacharya in his incarnation as Sri Pada, Sri Vallabha, they talk about how the deities would actually come out of the statue, stand in front of you and talk to you. Or the aura and energy emanating from these statues would be so powerful in the different colors and hues. So we're journeying to the, to the birthplace of Sri Pada Sri Vallabha, where he incarnated here. And so we can empower ourselves with that connection and, and deepen our capabilities to contact Lord Dr. Treya and do miracles ourselves. And I know in um, Dr. Pai's upcoming mystery school for 2019, that is a theme. He's like, it's time for everyone to learn how to do miracles. And I really feel that this trip is positioning those who have the calling and who the gods allow to come to start to access that energy. And I think we all qualify. So it's not just that the God is calling you. If you're listening to this call, the God is there making you listen to this call. It wasn't your own volition, it was a two-sided thing. So I think if you're listening to this call, you have to know that you have an invitation 
you have a connection to these places. And maybe there's some practical concerns where you can't go this time, but you have that connection or you would not um, be listening to this trip and interested in learning more about this.